to war. That is their chant. These protesters have another slogan. And this one might not go down well with the Kremlin. I am not going to die for Putin, quote unquote. That is the level of outrage on the ground. And the Kremlin has a serious problem to deal with. These protests are just the tip of the iceberg. A mass exodus is now underway. A large number of Russians are making plans to leave. Soon after Putin's speech, the flights out of Russia started filling up fast. For the next few days, the flights are completely booked. And these are not cheap flights I'm talking about. Tickets for Istanbul and Dubai are among the most sought after. One-way economy ticket. Priced as, as high as 9,200 euros, that is more than $9,000. And let me say that again, this is not a first class or a business class ticket. A ticket to get out of Russia costs well over $9,000. People are panicking. Listen in now to a passenger from Russia. I still cannot uh, uh, believe uh, uh, all this happened and uh, why this happened. Uh, I, I speak with you and I'm afraid, I'm afraid uh, because uh, my government and uh, police uh, can uh, see it and uh, I will have problem in my country. Uh, but, uh, but I want to say uh, freedom for Ukraine. Uh, I, I want to please somebody stop Putin. That was a Russian citizen who had just arrived in Serbia. Let's now show you what's happening in Turkey. Turkey is bracing for a mass influx. Major carriers flying from Russia are booked till Sunday already. Young Russians are pouring into cities like Istanbul. Many of them want to somehow get to Europe. Listen in to some of the voices. Part of the mobilization is uh, one of the reasons why I'm here. Uh, very poor step and uh, seems to be that it can leave, lead to lots of problems to lots of uh, Russian citizens. Mobilization was inevitable because there was a shortage of human resources. I am not worried because I'm already 59 years old and my son lives abroad. That's all, I guess. Russians are trying to leave through land routes as well. Again, I have pictures for you. This is the Russia-Georgia border. There was a long queue at the checkpoint. There were long lines at the Finnish border as well. Remember, Finland has a 1,300-kilometer long border with Russia, and these checkpoints are now among the few ways that Russians can use to escape to Europe. Traffic has now intensified there. Finland is mulling new rules. It could limit or stop Russians from coming into the country. Since the war in Ukraine started, we have discussed various scenarios where the war could spill over into Europe. Well, that is happening now, just not in a way that we would have imagined. More people could try to leave in the coming days. How to leave Russia, quote unquote, was the top Google search trend in the country soon after Putin's speech. The question now is, how will Russia deal with this? A crackdown is certain. Already warnings are being issued. The state prosecutor's office in Moscow has spoken out. It has reminded the people about the punishment for protesting. It could lead to a prison time of 15 years. The Russian state had dealt with anti-war protests with a heavy hand. In the first six months of the invasion, over 16,000 people have been arrested. At least 224 people are facing criminal charges. The protesters arrested in the last 24 hours could meet the same fate. But what if these protests get out of hand? What if more people take to the streets? 
the Russian state might then struggle to keep up. The Russian opposition is speaking out. Putin's arch rival Alexei Navalny has issued a statement from prison. He is voicing his support for the protesters. It is now clear that the main thing here is that this crime, this criminal war that is going on, this criminal war of aggression is getting worse and deepening and that Putin is trying to drag as many people as possible into it all. He wants to smear them in this blood, hundreds of thousands of people and of course this will lead to huge tragedies, a huge number of deaths and it certainly cannot and will not lead to anything good. We have heard similar criticism before, but will such statements deter Vladimir Putin? That is highly unlikely. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.